I was starting to write more lyrics. From the Mama album onwards, I started to write more lyrics because I was singing at the same time as the band were writing. And a lot of the time, like with No Son of Mine, which I think is one of the best things we've done, I Can't Dance, Driving the Last Spike, songs that I'm really proud of as a lyric writer. Um, I, you know, a lot of the time, I was singing something that was a phrase and the guys would say, what did you sing? I mean, Mike said, you singing No Son of Mine? Is that what you're singing? And I said, well, I was actually singing, No Son, No Son of Mine. You know, I wasn't singing those words, but it sounded like that. And, but No Son of Mine, what a great idea. I think it's the best lyric that Phil ever wrote for the band, is No Son of Mine, I think it's really strong. Because I think it means something, and yet it also sounds really good. And that's the key, you know, you want to get something that, well, that's what you're trying to do, really. Um, uh, which is more important of those two things, I don't know, but if you can get them both together, it, it, it's really good. Based on the on the song and the lyrics, one of the well, there's a couple, but one of the few that that we actually really just worked the lyrics into the to the logical step. The that's my favorite video that I've ever done for them. I think that it it was a really powerful video. The kid that played and I can't remember his name, but he was fantastic, the, the actor. And I remember at the end, I remember at the end, we had all this vermiculite and feathers with this mixture of like four different elements because we wanted to make the ending really big and have it explode and have it, it all you know it makes it, it all comes together in the glass globe and so we had after we, we did all the, the whole shoot we did all this all the parts we needed first and then we did what was what we called the drop which were this the last chorus and we do the drop and we didn't know what it's gonna be like so we got vermiculite and feathers and paper uh, just just 
paper clippings and all these fans and on the queue we blew it into the studio and they were saying and the stuff was flying and Phil was getting in his mouth and we stopped and we had to wait an hour for it to stop dropping because we I was worried originally that it would just look like little piddly stuff flowing out but for some reason it was great the vermiculite or whatever with the cork things were shimmering and flying all over the place and it was great, and and I think that they after the first take they just about had it with me with the with the drop stuff because we did it again. To, or we actually did it like three or four times. We kind of vacuum up a little bit and drop it again, and I could tell that Tony was getting very annoyed with the fact that stuff was dropping on for about an hour and a half. <laughs> 